What's going on guys? This is Paul with Bearcat Warehouse. Today I'm going to be showing you the Sentinel software, X36 HP Sentinel software. This video will also apply to the Home Patrol Sentinel software. So first off, you're going to plug the scanner up to your computer using the USB cable. It's going to prompt you to put the unit into mass storage and you're going to hit E and that means yes, or the enter key. And on a home patrol unit, you would just hit the yes button on the prompt. So once you go ahead and do that, load up the software. Now that you have the Sentinel software open, we're gonna do a couple things. I'll show you how to make a uh, favorites list, a profile, and I'll show you how to update the unit's firmware and uh, HP DB. So those are the, the big things I'm going to cover. I could spend more time on this video, but you know, it, it would just really take too much time to show you everything. So first off, we're going to start with the update, which you can find at the top menu of the software. We're going to start off with update master HPDB. Go ahead and click on that. And it says my uh, database is already to the current version, so I don't have to worry about that. So now we go to update firmware. My scanner's in there, so I'm going to update it. And it says I already have the current version of that, so don't really have to worry about that. So next off, we're going to create a profile, which is at the upper left-hand side of the screen. And use a name. You can already use a name that exists, so go ahead and create a new one. And uh, to change everything in the profile, just go to Edit Profile at the up, upper left-hand side of the screen with Edit. And then in here, Service Type should be the first thing. Make sure you have your Service Type selected. You can go to Location, Set Your Location, Close Call Settings, Broadcast Screen, Custom Search, Close Call Settings. So uh, the big one is the display options, and you can change your light settings and squelch and things like that here, or you can change the opening message. Uh, don't have enough room for Bearcat Warehouse, but you can just put whatever you want in here, just BCD436HP. And then your scan selection is here. Make sure the list that you want to have playing, you have the monitor on or download on so that they download and the monitor and the radio. So now we're going to create a favorites list, which is also at the upper left hand side. Piece of paper with the star on it. Name it what you want, hit enter. Now go to the database and break that open find your state in there. So for me, I'm going to Maryland. And then I'm going to be going to Howard. This is going to be a list for Howard County. And then in there, you can see all the different systems. There's Howard County, there's like the, the analog stuff. But I'm going to go down to the digital, which is this one. And then police. So those are all the active police channels. Now, to add them, you do append a list, select the desired list you want to append them to, hit OK. So now you can see both things are in the Howard County list, the simulcast and the police, and the simulcast has all the frequency numbers in it. The police have all the TGIDs and channel names and all that good stuff in there. Now to avoid, you just right-hand click on it, and do set avoid. To clear avoid, you just right-hand click on it again, and then do clear avoid. All right, now that we're finished making that, you do write to scanner. If you have any other favorites list in there, you wanna do erase favorites list on scanner because this will replace the old one that you have. So, hit enter, let it finish its install and you're all done. So basically now at this point, um, your radio, when you unplug the cable, if you have batteries in it, it's gonna do the firmware update. So make sure that you don't power the radio off while it's doing the firmware update. That's very important. All right, guys. Well, that's basically it. If you have any questions, you can post them in the comment section below. If you want to stay informed when new videos arrive, feel free to subscribe to our channel. And I will catch you guys next time.